Welcome back everyone, I am Psycho Emerald. Today I'm back with another Marvel Legends action figure unboxing and review. Today I have Baron Zemo and we're getting back into the Captain America flight gear build a figure wave. Um, I know I've been kind of taking a break from this series just for like, I think it's been about a month, maybe a couple months. I don't know. Time really flies. I don't know how long it's been since I uploaded the Winter Soldier one, but I'm finally getting around to reviewing Baron Zemo and Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch I pre-ordered from Big Bad Toy Store about two months ago, um, but it's estimated she'll be here very soon. So that review will be up on the channel probably not too long after this one, but... Uh, yeah, I'm happy to finally have Baron Zemo. Easily my favorite villain, unless Winter Soldier counts as a villain. But I kind of think of uh, Winter Soldier more of a as more of a hero, since, you know, he kind of has his transformation back into Bucky Barnes uh, in Civil War. So, yeah, Baron Zemo, I just... Uh, Civil War is my favorite MCU film, and uh, I think Baron Zemo is one of the best, if not the best villain in the MCU, in my opinion. So it was awesome to see him come back for Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad to have this action figure um i'm really enjoying this wave and i'm excited to build this build a figure so what i'm thinking is i will do a video on the build a figure itself after i review scarlet witch i'll do a video where i build the captain america build a figure and then i will also do a video where i rank all of the figures kind of like i did with the five nights at freddy's action figures i will rank this entire uh marvel legends wave which i think could be really fun so i'm excited to get this figure out of the package but first let's check out the box you got the window where you can see baron zemo with all his accessories and everything you can see the build a figure piece there um we got his name down there with the red banner we got the hasbro logo we got the falcon winter soldier title logo and then we got disney plus right there we got this cool shot of baron zemo right there and then back here we got marvel legends series we got baron zemo same art that's right here and then we have the write-up on the back. Baron Zemo, the Sokovian Special Forces officer who targeted the Avengers, has been rotting in a German prison, but recent events will reignite him with a ferocity. So, yep. Yeah. And then we got all the other figures of the wave. I currently have all of them except Scarlet Witch, who I have ordered. So she'll be here soon, like I said, and that review should be up very soon. And there's the Build-A-Figure. It looks really great. Just the... Uh, digital mock-up of it right there it looks really great i'm really excited to get the wings all built for captain america and uh yeah down here we got marvel logo hasbro logo tons of legal stuff and uh yeah marvel Legends series up there build a figure captain america warnings i'm excited to get this figure out of the package so let me grab the trusty unboxing knife and we will do that okay so here's the trusty unboxing knife uh to open the marvel legends you just go like that break it open like this I'm going to pop that out the tab and then pop this open. And then you could slide this cardboard tray out with the figure and all the accessories. So let's pop that plastic out here. Let's build a figure piece. Figure itself. Actually, I like to save the figure itself for last. So let's grab the tape here. Got to come off. All right. Now get his hands out. Get his alternate head. And then his pistol here is covered by tape. All right, got the pistol out. And then here we have the, this is the Hydra's book that has the keywords to control the Winter Soldier. All right, so now let's get Zemo himself out of the package. Well, he's really tight in there, but we can probably get him out. And there we go. So let's put all the extra packaging aside and we'll check out the figure. Okay, so now we got the figure and all the accessories out to start. Here's the bath piece. So we will be connecting this in a, separate video once I have all the pieces uh, once I get Scarlet Witch so there's that so let's check out the figure first first thing I noticed before I even got it out of the box is he's missing a finger I don't know how that happened that's some sort of quality control issue is he's literally just missing an entire finger he does not have a trigger finger um <laughs> uh, I mean you could still fit his pistol into his hand pretty nicely so I'll show that off his golden pistol here so I'll put his golden pistol into his hand there fits in pretty nicely still but it just looks so weird he's missing an entire finger I don't know what I could do about that I think I'm just gonna deal with it but yeah it's just so weird I don't know how that happened uh maybe in a factory somewhere I have no clue but yeah Baron Zemo is missing a finger I guess there you go <laughs> but uh yeah let's check out the figure his costume looks really good his everything looks good the jacket the trench coat type thing looks good his shirt underneath kind of this purple it looks really good it's kind of a burgundy purple type thing his gloves are kind of the same color they're a little more purple though and then um his head sculpt here looks really good 
looks pretty much just like the actor Daniel Brühl. Daniel Brühl, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but yeah, there's the head sculpt. Looks good. Pretty happy with that. Um, his belt there, all the detailing and the sculpt on his jacket looks great. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. So let's check out some of his accessories. We already checked out the pistol, how it fits into his hand. But uh, there it is up close. It's not exactly what it looked like because I think, you know, with like kids toys, they don't want to put like actual guns with them unless it's G.I. Joe. I don't know. But uh, it looks pretty good. And he did have a golden pistol in the show. So that's a cool accessory to have there. And then we got this. I don't know if he actually had this in the show. Might have to go back and check. But I don't think he actually had, you know, the red book with the Winter Soldier keywords uh, in the show. But it's definitely a cool accessory for sure. Um, since, you know, it was such a prominent uh, object in Civil War. So, there's that. And then his swappable accessories being two fists, which will be nice so he doesn't have to be missing a finger all the time. So, just two swappable fists. They look good. So, kind of hard to see with my lighting, but they're the same color as the fists on his uh, body already. So, looks good. And then here we got the alternate head sculpt which I've heard complaints about this I think it looks okay and uh yeah we and yeah we can check out how that fits onto his head so uh but first but first let's see how this fits into his hand looks like it'll go in the uh pistol holding hand I thought maybe it'd go in the pistol holding hand but really it doesn't fit too well I mean it, it, he holds it I guess but it doesn't look quite right does it I don't know maybe I'm just bad at this but it doesn't look quite like it fits there but it looks good looks good i like that and we've already checked out how the pistol fits in his into his hand so let's check out some of his swappable accessories so the fists basically uh what you'd imagine with you know collectible action figures is it takes a little bit of effort to pop the hands off and pop new ones in but it's nothing too crazy fits nicely but uh this is a fun little pointing finger very very much like that but yeah switch it out for the fist and i'm sure it'll be just as easy on this hand so uh let's check out the swappable head Okay, yeah, it took a little bit of effort to get it on, and even after it is on, I don't know if you can see that, but he definitely has a considerable gap in between his uh, neck and the, his head, and uh, yeah, it's definitely a different shape than his actual face is, if you look at that, like, it doesn't seem like this face should be able to fit under that mask, which a lot of people have been saying, and I pretty much agree with that, but I think it looks okay, it's cool to have this look, I believe this was his comic look, I'm not familiar with Baron Zemo from the comics, I do read comic books, uh, but I haven't... I have yet to encounter Baron Zemo in any Marvel comics, so I'll have to see exactly what he looks like in the comics. I've kind of seen the old Marvel Legends figure of the comic version of Baron Zemo, um, but yeah, this mask is definitely cool. It was cool to see in the show. Um, I did, Obviously, not being a huge, like, you know, super immersed into the comic book world, um, I don't know how accurate it is to his look from the comics, but I am somewhat familiar with what he looked like in the comics, and I think this is... A pretty good adaptation of it for the MCU but really when it comes to the figure I don't think they did an amazing job of translating this into the figure I think they could have done a much better job um, in making this more screen accurate and making it fit better like it was difficult to pop this on there it was easy to take this head off but it was not easy to put this head on so that's something uh, that if you're getting this figure you should know it's not easy to pop this back on and even when you do get it on it still doesn't seem like it's all the way on correctly because it doesn't go all the way down so yeah but I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, so let's uh, get this guy in a cool pose, and I'll give you guys a closer look at Baron Zemo. Alright, so my finishing thoughts on this review, this is definitely a figure I would recommend. Um, if I'm being honest, it wasn't high up on my list of ones I felt like I needed, even though he's probably my favorite villain from the MCU. Um, not a figure I was particularly super interested in, which is kind of why I waited so long to get him. He wasn't high up on my list from this wave of figures I felt like I needed, but definitely, now that I have him, I'm glad to have him. Uh, he hasn't blown me away or anything, but he's definitely, definitely one you want to pick up if you're a fan of the character, if you're a fan of Falcon and Winter Soldier, or if you just want to build a build a figure, it's definitely uh, one you'll want to pick up, uh, because, you know, you can get the piece and get an awesome figure with it. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I'm really liking this wave so far. I'm not going to give my full thoughts on the wave until I do the, uh, probably the ranking or the build a figure video where I build the uh, Captain America flight gear. But 
uh yeah happy with this figure definitely would recommend it and uh yeah i've enjoyed making this review i hope you guys have enjoyed watching it hope you've been enjoying these uh reviews of the disney plus captain america build a figure wave um we're almost done just need to do scarlet witch and then after that i guess there'll be two more videos so uh, yeah i'm really excited for scarlet witch she looks like an amazing figure i love her character as well um so i'm really excited to finally have that figure because that one was a definitely the most sought after one from the wave so naturally it was the hardest to get so excited to finally get that figure i've been waiting for that for a while and i'm happy with this figure happy with the wave so far and uh yeah if you guys enjoyed this review uh please leave a like that would be greatly appreciated if you like marvel legends i do a lot of that on my channel uh or if you just like the mcu marvel toys in general i do a lot of that on my channel and toy collecting in general as well is what my channel is based off of so if you're interested in toy reviews uh action figure reviews funko pop reviews really whatever i'm adding to my collection i will do a video on so if you're interested in that please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. We're getting close to 200 subscribers. Um, I'd love to reach 200 subscribers. So if you guys are willing to help me out, that'd be awesome. And so, uh, yeah, hope you guys found this review helpful. Hope you found it enjoyable and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.